So you're, you're waiting for a tow truck? Yeah. Well, what's wrong with it? Um, it just won't go into drive or park. How come like you, you, got, you, you got this far and it stopped? I uh, made two stops and then it stopped, but I had an issue yesterday. Yesterday also? Yeah. You had to tow this yesterday? No, no, no. I just had an issue. It fixed itself and then right now I'm having this issue now. But, okay, normally when your car stops, you're not parked conveniently. How, how come you're parked conveniently at this spot? Well, I just went to get a booster juice. Okay, and then it wouldn't work anymore? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What problem did you have yesterday? Same same issues that I'm having right now. And then you just waited and it worked again? Yeah, yeah, I did like a reset. But now, this time I tried to do the reset, it didn't work. Well, how was the reset done? Um, you press the two buttons. Yeah. When you hold them. How many I, I've already tried it, it didn't work this time, so now it's getting towed. How many times did you try? Once. Why don't you try another time? I just, they told me just it's fine. Who, you phoned them or what? Yeah, yeah, Rivian. I talked to Rivian. Where's their Rivian uh, shop here? Uh, in, uh, in Richmond. Okay. Where in Richmond? I don't know, exactly. Where did you, where'd you get this one? I bought it off a dealership. Where? A, do a dealership. I bought it off a dealership in Langley. Oh, a dealership? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like an actual Rivian dealership? No, no, no. It was, like a, it was a Porsche dealership. A Ford? Porsche. Porsche. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, well, that's no good. How, how long have you had it? I've had it for eight months. And this is, how many times have you had problems like this? Just one other issue. What was that one about? A uh, tailgate wouldn't lock back up. Wouldn't lock? Yeah, wouldn't go back up. Or wouldn't unlock? No, it was locked down. Right, wouldn't unlock. Would not unlock. You no, know, no, it was unlocked, but it wouldn't lock. Oh, okay. Wow. So... Yeah. But you're, you know your door's open here, right? No, no, I know. I can, I can close it. Like this. Okay, so that that's not, has nothing to do with the start no, restart. No, 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 no. Okay. So would you would you say it's a good vehicle? When it works, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> not right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the best thing you like about this? Um. Is it, is it a chick magnet? I don't know if it's a chick magnet, it's just fun to drive. But at the same time, if I had to compare it to a Ford F-150, which I was considering getting, I would probably be spending about $1,200 in gas per month. So, yeah. you know, I am some saving money, but I am limited to as far as it can go, you know. Like, I, I go up to Worcester to go skiing. Yeah but it takes 40% of the battery life to get up there and 30% to get back. So, That's you 70%, know. yeah. Yeah, it's 70%, so it's not like, you know, but at the same time too, where I'm in my place in my life right now, I got two little kids. I'm not really traveling much outside of the city, so it's kind of perfect for right now. But I don't know if, uh, if I was to have like work outside of the, Outside of Vancouver, if I would get like an EV, I'd probably get like a normal truck. Yeah. Well, well what about the, uh, I thought they got like 500 kilometers or more. Yeah, but still like, you know, the, that's that's all like, uh, that, that that's all inflated because once you start like driving uphill, once you start using, uh, you know, battery life, playing music, warming or cooling the car yeah that that it's not really 450 kilometers you know oh you don't get that with no. your air conditioner on no 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 because it's all draining battery right well, what is the realistic um, mileage or kilometer distance for you i would say i don't know maybe 350 kilometers yeah 
But you don't really want to drain this down the bottom. Exactly. Like uh, if you want to limit it to no more than say 30% state of charge on the low side, what what's the realistic range? At that point, if you don't want to do that, I would say 300 kilometers. 300 kilometers. Yeah. Okay. But that's not enough for your driving. Well, it's good for day to day. If you're going, yeah. you know, if you're driving around the city and coming back and, and charging it up, it's great. But if you actually have to go like uh, on a road trip or if you yeah. want to go off roading, yeah, it's good luck. Good luck trying to. Tr you'd almost have to charge it at the at like the wherever you are. Yeah, right before you're about to go off roading, you know, and then come back. But you're not gonna go off roading for like you know, five days. So can you charge this in a Tesla charger? Uh, we're getting the adapter. Uh, I already got signed up. I'm getting the adapter in the next month. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. how long would it take you to charge once you get one of those fast chargers? I haven't done it yet, so I can't tell you. Well, right now, what, do you have one at home? I, uh, well, the one that I have at home is, is, is like not the fastest one. It's level two. Right. So to do a full charge takes me about nine hours. Oh, nine hours. Yeah, nine hours. Whereas with with like the yeah. Tesla super fast one. Yeah. What I'm hearing, what I'm hearing, it should take around an hour to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Yep. Okay. Can I take a picture of the inside? Sure, I guess so. Wow, that's a large screen, eh? Yeah, not bad, right? <laughs> Good for me, like someone blind like me can uh, use that. Yeah. Are you looking to get a new car? No, I'm actually, um, never heard of it. You bike Bob? Oh, yeah. I, uh, so maybe. okay. So I uh, investigate, right now I'm, I investigate um, people who are selling uh, EVs.